Good evening. I'm Trudy Sorensen, District Director for Lutheran Community Services Northwest in the South Puget Sound. I'm excited to get creative with you tonight as we toast to our centennial year. I hope you'll be inspired as we share highlights from our services and give you a sneak peek at our brand new Tacoma building. While I'm sad we can't gather together in person, thank you for being here with us tonight. Our theme this year is the art of community. I've been inspired by the way your generosity has allowed us to be creative and find new ways to connect and serve. This past year will go down in our history as a scary, challenging, sad, and at the same time, a resourceful and creative time in our lives. Tonight, you will see and hear stories of hope despite the pandemic. Thanks to you, we've been able to continue growing services and use technology to extend our reach. Your support has helped us provide companionship for homebound seniors, art classes for people living with memory loss, provide meals, rides, and resource information, and to welcome and support refugees who are new to the country. Our social work intern, who worked remotely at home, helped create virtual friends, and we recruited volunteers who were recently matched with a senior friend. We were the first program in the country to replicate opening minds through art in a virtual setting, and we're now in our third session. While we long to meet and serve face-to-face, -face, we have learned it's okay to reach out virtually as well. I'm thrilled to be celebrating our collective creative spirit during our 100th year of service to South Puget Sound. Thank you for your partnership as we work together to bring health, justice, and hope to communities in our backyard and beyond. A new neighborhood and a new office as we mark a hundred years of service, which started in Tacoma in 1921. Welcome and enjoy the show. Welcome to the new Tacoma South Puget Sound office. We are located at 3848 South Jeanette. And while we miss our four story house at North Yakima, here we're all on one level with easy access. How can we help you today? We love our warehouse, home of Santa for seniors all year long and soon reaching into even more communities. Volunteers of all ages can wrap gifts and they can get loaded on the modern sleigh as off they go. We also have Meals on Wheels and Senior Scene and Where to Turn deliveries that go out of here. Our staff are so excited to be here and looking forward to virtual and face-to-face -face meetings with clients, volunteers, caregivers, students, community, a great place to work. Hello, I'm Lori Arndt and I am the Opening Minds Through Art instructor here at Lutheran Community Services in Tacoma. Opening Minds Through Arts is a evidence-based program that's based on abstract work from famous painters and it's failure-free art for people who are living with dementia. They're able to freely express themselves, they're able to create beautiful artwork, and then this then leaves a legacy for their family and also um, affects their emotions positively. So we have clients that are just early uh, on in their dementia stage all the way to severe and not speaking, and each one of them can do the Opening Minds Through Art program. And the neat thing about um, OMA is, is that when we do it in community, we actually do a community art show afterwards. But during the pandemic, we are actually do it online. We make a PowerPoint, but then the clients, the artists, their um, loved ones from out of state can join us in with us. The artworks are stunning. We just had one um, a, a week ago and I, I started crying at the end of it because the artworks are just so beautiful and people can't believe that people with dementia do this. And, the, and people with dementia, one of the last things that they retain is their creativity. 
and we're a strength-based program. We're not looking at the person with dementia as having a disease. We're looking at them with the qualities that they retain. And the other really neat pro thing about this program is we're the first person in Washington State to do this. And not only that, but we're the first people in the United States to actually do it in clients' homes. And each time that we make the art, we also not just paint on a piece of paper, we also mat it immediately afterwards. And you can see from this painting here is that we have a mat around it, and then it takes it from just a painting to actually a beautiful piece of art. And then the artists take and they hang that up on their walls, give it to their family as gifts, um, and then also at our new uh, Lutheran Community Services office in Tacoma, we have a wall where we're going to commission the pieces from our artists and hang them up on the wall for a month or two at a time. So I'm very excited to have you here with us today to share in the art project that we're doing. And I'll say that we're, used, we're making the deep sea watercolor today. So um, when we send out the when we send out the products, we'll, it'll have um, a special bag for each week, which will contain some of the different things. And part of this project that we're doing has uh, some unconventional, maybe you think to painting, but we have some cheesecloth that I've cut into different sizes. We're also gonna be ripping up a paper towel. And then we also have some uh, different kinds of uh, textures of sea sponges. So we have one with a little small, kind of bigger, and these are for adding some embellishments later on. Um, makes the project not only fun, but it keeps the interest. And each artist is perfectly fine. They can um, continue to do all the different levels or they can just stop and do one because this really is about what the artist wants to do. All the choices, they get to make their own choices. So um, this is one area in their life where they're not having decisions made for them. They get this one hour a week where there is a choice where what colors they want to use, where they want to put them, what steps they want to do, um, and it's a freeing time for both them and their caregiver also. Much of the day is frustrating for both the person with dementia and the caregiver, but this time is just a time of joy, and so we will head on into our watercolor painting that we're doing today. Okay, so now we're going to start the creative process. Today's project, I suggest that you put paper towels underneath your paper because it is going to be a little bit wet process because we're using the painting process called wet on wet painting technique. So, and we're going to use watercolors and I have a special plate that is going to be used for your acrylic paint. You're going to put one little bit of acrylic embellishment on. We have sea salt. We have glitter. You know, if you've never used glitter before, don't discount it because sometimes it can have that extra little pizzazz. And we also have a sea sponge for putting on our acrylic paint. And then we're also using cheesecloth and more paper towel. It's going to be a really fun and exciting project. And you're going to be amazed at how beautiful it is when you're done. So when we do wet on wet technique, the first thing we do is we're going to spray our entire piece of paper with a spray bottle of water. And just go ahead and wet it down really nicely. And you may spray again a little bit later if it starts to dry out. And then when you get your watercolor, and I'm just using kind of a medium tight brush, try and just dip it in just a little bit of water to try and get a rich color. And then with that paper towel on the side, you can also, also dab your brush off. Because when you paint here on this piece, you're gonna to want to get a rich dark color. And you know, you can paint something specific um, to go with the, the deep sea theme, or you can just paint some abstract colors on there. It's, it's all up to you. You get to make the decisions. I see the orange there. I didn't get it quite dark enough. So I'm kind of doing a sun here, maybe. And our people with dementia, it's amazing. Um, sometimes they don't have, they're not held back by trying to recreate something, which then really lends a, I think they do a much better job with their paintings than I do. And then I'm going to use some blues and greens. I'll use a little green here. Once again, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna get it nice and dark. And 
there you can see that wet on wet technique how it does and it smooths that out it's it's really a free and I have a lot of our clients really like this process they especially like the painting it's just you see beauty coming alive on your page This is Rena Markin, and I am the program coordinator for the Senior Friend Program, Social Engagement Programs, and our new Virtual Friend Program. And I'm speaking with Lois, who was a Senior Friend client in the past, and um, because of COVID, her match uh, lo she lost the, her match and um, now she's been matched with a virtual friend. So Lois, can you tell us a little bit about how you started, um, what, how you knew about senior friends? Well, I think it was just from talking to you that I was able to, con I know that, I knew I had a need to do something so I just, it sounded like something, you know, that'd be okay to do. And at the time when we talked, um, you had expressed to me some feelings of loneliness. Yes. And do you want to expand on that just a little bit so well, our audience knows? Yeah, it had uh, all of this problem with COVID and all had just started and it was really hard to uh, connect with people. And, and so it was a time that I especially was able to talk to people if I could. So. Uh, yeah, you had connected me with um, someone that I didn't know and uh, had never talked to before, and it was so, it just was so good. And I, I give her the credit for it because she just knew exactly, you know, what we could talk about. We've never seen each other, and we've talked for, has it been a year, maybe? Not quite, but almost. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so we feel like we know each other, but I wouldn't know her if I saw her on the street. So it, it's been a real pleasure to be able to do that. And have you felt like uh, having a virtual friend calling you once a week has um, combated some loneliness that yes. you've been feeling? Yes, that was certainly part of it, yes. And uh, <clears throat> toward the end, we would say, oh, that's all right. That's right. I told you this already. <laughs> <laughs> so we knew we were winding down. <laughs> but you're comfortable in your conversations yeah, with her. We both seem to be able to just converse very easily. So that was good. Well, good. So Lois is matched with our senior friend volunteer, virtual friend volunteer, Katie. And um, so they've been talking now for quite a few months and seem to have a great relationship. Mm -hmm. So would you recommend the virtual friend program to your friends? Actually, you have recommended it to your friends. <laughs> yes. Yes, it certainly is something that is very valuable, I think. Well, good. Well, anything else you'd like to tell me about it? Well, I've appreciated you and, and what you have done, you know, for this whole program too. I really have. Well, I love our phone conversations because yes. you and I have talked all through COVID as well. Yes. <laughs> right. And so we've kept up a good relationship yeah. and you're just delightful. So we're happy to have a volunteer call you and um, stave off some of that loneliness. Yes. Good. All right. So that this is Lois with Virtual Friends. <laughs> so now you can see that this is just some beautiful colors on here but we're not done because one of the things, and when you get to this part, if your painting is a little bit dry, I recommend that you, you just spritz a little spritz again because the next part we're gonna do is kind of interesting is we're going to put a little of the sea salt on here. And um, it just, it kind of adds, adds this little texture. And if you, it, sea salt is, um, it's much coarser than regular table salt. And then you can even spray some of the water it adds a little bit of um you can see the paint spreading out a little bit it uh could be barnacles floating in the ocean <laughs> you know it just adds it could be some seaweed just you look at that i really like that and then the next thing you're going to do when you have in your little packet here is we have 
some pa more paper towel. But we also have some cheesecloth that I have just pre-cut into colors. You can bring scissors and add it to it. And you're thinking, wait a minute, I'm ruining my picture by putting this on. But no, it's, it's yeah, so just you can just place that on and then you get your Maj Paj. I put that out earlier. Kind of use a bigger brush with that. And then just Maj Paj over it to just attach it to your painting. Hi, I'm Maria Holt, and I'm the Program Director of Dementia Services at Lutheran Community Services Northwest. Something that's brought me joy in this past week is signing up a new participant for our Opening Minds Through Art program. I've been with Lutheran Community Services since October of 2019. Working with Dementia Services is close to my heart because my mom lived with Alzheimer's dementia, and I feel that LCS's mission of health, justice, and hope honors her memory, as well as helps so many others in our community. Then the other thing we have is we have just plain paper towel, and this is the same thing. You can just put this on wherever you'd like to have it. Maybe you want to make, you know, lines. You can just make a long line. And we even have some artists and they like to fold it up a little bit. And then you can like maybe make them waves or something and put that on. And then you mosh podge that on too. And the mosh podge is diluted. So it's just to attach this a little bit. You can always, if it dries and it's not quite attached, you can add a little bit. Hi, my name is Michaela DeLay and I am from Bremerton, Washington. Something that has brought me joy this week is seeing the beautiful sunshine here in Washington State. I am connected to Lutheran Community Services through my Master of Social Work program at Boise State University and I am currently the intern at the South Puget Sound office. I enjoy volunteering and working at Lutheran Community Services because of their friendly and collaborative staff. Something that I think of when I think about Lutheran Community Services is instilling hope and creating a friendly community. We are stronger together. Hi, I'm Kellen Burden. Uh, when I first started volunteering with Lutheran Community Services back in 2017, uh, I was looking to give back to my community, but it, it quickly evolved into just the most fun that I have all week. Uh, I really, really love working with this organization. Hi, my name is Karison. I am the executive assistant here at Lutheran Community Services. It's my second day and it's been so wonderful to come into a warm and welcoming building that's super functional um, and we're excited to work with the team. Thank you for making it possible. Now you look at that. Sometimes when we get to this place in our process, the people with dementia, the artists will look at this and say, oh my gosh, this is a mess. It's not going to be a mess. So there we go. Now we're going to use our watercolor brush again and put some watercolors on top of the different textures that we added, the paper towel and the cheesecloth. So let's see, I think I'll add some green. And once again, a little bit of water and then you can kind of see that it's you're going to get a rich color. So now I'm going to add some green to here. And this is a good time too when you can, um, you know, if you don't mind, you can clean out your water tray later, but you can even mix colors just to get that C colors in there. Hello, my name is Momara Bugela, and I am the Director for Refugee Resettlement and Placement Services at Lutheran Community Service Northwest. I live in Tacoma, Washington, and uh, Tacoma is one of the beautiful cities in the South Puget Sound area. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all of my friends, my colleagues, and all our community members who are joining us today. What brought um, joy to me this week is being alive and healthy and be able to uh, help and serve um, our people and our clients, our community who's in need. I joined Lutheran Community Service Northwest because I was looking for um, um, a service that brings meaning and, uh, and has a long-term impact on human life. Uh, 
and Lutheran Community Services is the organization that has a mission and service um, that fill this uh, passion that they have. Um, and that's what brought me back um, to Lutheran Community Service Northwest and the joy of seeing these people being served, um, have a big smile in their face, their uh, needs are met and, and they are happy. They are self-sufficient, they are independent and they are, um, they have a, they have um, uh, good and uh, better life. So that's something I really enjoyed working with Lutheran Community Service. Um, if I, one thing I will say, whatever I think about Luton Community Service Northwest, um, I will say it's all about service. Uh, there are many people uh, we work with here that's going above and beyond, working hard day and night that make, um, you know, uh, Luton Community Service a better place, you know, to work for. And when you see all people who's being served, they are happy and they are, their needs are met. Um, it's very hard to summarize um, everything uh, about, you know, the work that has been done here. It's all great, amazing work, but um, I will say it is all uh, comes to the mission of the organization. It's about to make sure that health justice and hope being applied and being served and being provided to our community and our people. And if you know someone who's interested in doing this, if you know someone who in dementia, we're mostly in Pierce County, but we will do King County if they're close enough, or if you're willing to meet us halfway to get supplies to you. If you know someone with dementia who would you know, really like to do this, okay. Hmm, I think I want a little bit more blue on this one. So now, now we get to use our sea sponge because of course we're making a sea painting and you take your little plate and some, some metallic paint. I have a little bit of gold. Some people don't like to use this process. I'll just add a little bit. Some people don't want to do the layers. That's okay, they can do as many layers as they want. And you kind of stamp it on your plate so you can see what you're getting. And then maybe you just wanna just add a little bit of, a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of an extra item to your, and you can even add, you know, white or even black. Kind of adds a little bit of dimension to it. Hi, I'm Susan Nochilla. I've been with Lutheran Community Services Northwest for three years, and I am the program manager for Meals on Wheels and Santa for Seniors. I am so excited to be in our new location. We have an amazing space, an amazing warehouse space, so we can have our volunteers in, our uh, gift assemblies, all of the little acknowledgements we use to reach our isolated seniors. And that's even more important right now as we've been making our way through the pandemic. Um, we've had a lot of increase in food need with our Meals on Wheels program, as well as making sure we're letting our seniors know they're not forgotten and uh, they're not alone during this time. And then at this point, it, um you know, my piece of art is finished. And this is where uh, the people will say, okay, yeah, I see this, you know, what here, and what could this be that I have in here, you know? But then when we do this, and I'll put this one, I'll put the blue on. When I do this, it really pops. That is when our um, artwork really pops out. And you can put it that way, or even if you put a white one on it, it goes from just um, a piece of paper to something beautiful that you can hang on your wall. And we just, and when we're in our meetings, we just uh, hold it up and show it like that. And you get beautiful. So, but I think this one, I think the blue kind of, but this one really kind of makes it pop. So another beautiful artwork. And like I said, this one is going to, when it dries, 
it's going to change a little bit um, and you can look at it and if you think well maybe these pieces of um, uh, cheesecloth or paper towel aren't about you can use a little bit more Mod Podge again and just you know um, get it more uh, into the painting a little bit more absorbed into the painting a little bit it's fine you can adapt it however you want but you're gonna end up with a beautiful project and please you know share this with people that you know share it with family and friends I would like to get as many people as we'd like to reach as many people as possible. The pandemic has really affected seniors um, loneliness. It really affects their uh, people with dementia, um, their disease is progressing free, um, quicker, more quick, quickly. And so this is really a great program. Thank you so much. Good evening, I'm David Dewey, and it's been my honor to serve as President and CEO of Lutheran Community Services since 2014. While I miss the opportunities we've had to gather in person, break bread together, and celebrate all of our work that our collective generosity has done in the South Puget Sound, I've been inspired by the creative ways we've continued to find community during an isolating time. That creative spirit has been the heartbeat of our organization for the past 100 years. LCS Northwest was founded in 1921 by people who, just like us, wanted to bring health, justice, and hope to their communities in creative and innovative ways. Like us, they understood that the concept of community is much more than who's in the room. It's about caring for people, it's about having a servant's heart. It's about a consideration of how best to serve who isn't in the room. This year, we're celebrating our centennial, 100 years of social responsibility driven by our mission. From the start, we responded to a time of uncertainty and transition with health, justice, and hope. Now, nearly 100 years later, we find ourselves in a similar place with one major difference, a century of steadfast service to Northwest communities in the most effective ways possible. One of the exciting ways we've adapted to serve our communities more holistically is our affiliation with Compass Housing Alliance, another 100-year organization with roots that have been intertwined with ours since 1921. In January of this year, we welcome Compass under the LCS Northwest umbrella, making it possible for us to improve the lives of even more people. Throughout our next 100 years, we'll be able to look back at 2021 as the start of something bigger. It feels really right that we are gathered this evening to literally create something together. Across our agency, donors and partners like you have made it possible for us to pivot creatively and continue to serve isolated seniors, military families, immigrants, and refugees from South Puget Sound. There is an art and a heart to community, and I'm honored to continue to see all of the good we can do in the community together. I'm excited to reminisce on the history of all we have accomplished together to provide ex exciting opportunities to partner with us during this year of celebration and to continue to partner with you to bring health, justice, and hope to the Northwest communities. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nancy McFarland. I've worked for Lutheran Community Services for three and a half years, and I'm in charge of the Retired and Senior Volunteer Program for Pierce County. We're just so excited to have this beautiful building. I was just blown away the first time I walked through it. It looks so much like an office, and I think what's really great about it is we don't have stairs, and the fact that our people who don't drive will be uh, able to take a bus and get here very easily. We're on a bus line, so it's nice to have something that's accessible to public transportation. 
And oh my gosh, the last year, what can we say about COVID? It's been trying for all of us, but especially for my volunteers who the majority of them are over 65 years old and they're super excited to get back to their stations and their important community work. But I'm fortunate enough that I do have quite a few volunteers still volunteering at the congregate meal sites and the food bank. So I'm really looking forward to getting back with all my volunteers and having an RSVP recognition event to celebrate what we've learned from the last year and how we can start our future at our stations and improve our community. Hi, I'm Rena Markin and I am the program coordinator with Lutheran Community Services here and I work with the Senior Friends Program, the Virtual Friends Program, and uh, some of the social engagement programs that we have going on. And we're just so excited to have this hub going. I've been working with Lutheran for two and a half years and am just really excited to have moved out of that house into this brand new office space. And I know that we're going to be able to serve our people so much better that they don't have to do the stairs. I know the stairs were hard for me even. So um, we're looking forward to having trainings here and welcoming people as they come in. So this is just an amazing space. Our programs have done really well, um, but it's been a tough and challenging year and we've had to figure out how to go virtual. So we've met that challenge and we're working hard at it. And again, thank you so much. We're excited for the new coming year. Hi, I'm Pat Jenkins. I'm the director or, or manager of um, Senior Media Services, one of the programs here at Lutheran Community Services Northwest in our South Puget Sound region. And um, I, like I believe all of our, our folks here, are, are thrilled with the building that we're in. We're so appreciative of the support that, that uh, put us here. And, and that support to me is, is a huge example of the the overwhelming um, generosity that we receive from our communities in terms of, of funders and, and partners, partnering organizations, um, and of course, uh, just the community at large. And in the case of my, my own program, you know, um, we, we we're very grateful for the opportunity to be in this building because um, it, it gives us uh, a place where we can um, adequately store and, and distribute our, our printed products, which are Senior Scene, our monthly newspaper for the audience of 55 and up, and also our three editions of Where to Turn, Community Resources Guides, uh, which we do for Pyrrhus, King, and Kitsap counties, again in separate editions, um, and with the, with the very generous support of um, of, of the advertisers that, that uh, support our products. And then of course the work of our volunteers were able to um, provide these, these publications as free resources of information um, for the, for the uh, 55 and up primarily uh, members of our communities. And um, at this time during the pandemic, um, we, we feel that our publications are critical sources of information like that. So again, uh, thank you very much from Senior Media Services and from all of us here at Lutheran Community Services Northwest. Hey everyone, I'm Pat Jenkins, Program Manager and Editor of Senior Media Services. And it's my honor today to present the recipient of this year's John Breel Award from Lutheran Community Services Northwest. This award is named for Reverend John Briel. He was a pastor who exemplified service to others. He reached out to help people through his ministry and his volunteer work with organizations such as Lutheran Community Services. He contributed to our agency financially as a member of our area council and by asking others to support our work. This award that we present annually in his memory honors a member of the Lutheran Community Services family who, like John, truly reaches out to individuals and communities. I'm proud to say that this year's recipient, Leo Armstrong, is a volunteer in my program here at LCS. For the past eight years, he has tirelessly delivered our senior scene newspaper each month, that's 53,000 copies and counting, to senior living communities, rehabilitation centers, government offices, social service organizations, and churches on his route in Tacoma. Even during the pandemic, he has helped us meet our mission of providing free sources of information to nourish the mind, body, and soul of older adults. Leo's selfless compassion goes even further. Working with his church and other community members, he delivers food donations to the Puyallup Food Bank and meals to a homeless services organization in Puyallup. 
He drives church members and neighbors to appointments, and he has been active in the community service work of Kiwanis. I think you can understand why it's such an honor for us to present the 2021 John Briel Award to Leo Armstrong. Leo, congratulations, and thank you so much for everything you do for everyone. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. I uh, became a member of the Puyallup community in 1962. As a teacher, I taught in Puyallup for 30 years. In my early teaching career, I wanted to expand my contact with other people in the community outside of teachers. So I joined a Kiwanis club, a service club, and was a member of it for 30 some years. When I retired from teaching, I looked around to see what would be available and that it would use my time. I found that there was an opportunity to tutor at uh, Stewart Elementary School, tutor in math. I also attended a Bible study at church. This was on a Tuesday. Wednesday was Kiwanis. Thursday, we would, some of us would meet together for coffee. And then Friday, we would meet together at our clubhouse. I belong to a live-in Sansushi Community Club. And as a member there, we reach out and help other people too in the community. As Pat mentioned, I provide food. They donate the food. I take it down to the food bank. So it's been a wonderful opportunity of service for this community. There are opportunities out there. All you have to do is look a little bit and you'll see them. So thank you again, Pat. Hi, my name is Bobby Jacob. Hi, my name is Ruth Page. My name is Willie B. Harris Jr. Hi, I'm Sister Laura Johnson. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jackie Broom. Uh, my joy of the week was being with my family. We had a special family, family celebration. I can visit with all six of my grandkids, my kids. I love being a senior companion because it brings me as many benefits as to me as my company. I wake up feeling good because I know I'll be volunteering with my client. Uh, the Lutheran Community Program uh, it's all about uh, helping seniors live independently, you know, and, and, and enjoy a certain quality of life, you know. The greatest memory I have is just that the joy that it brings to me to be part of the, the mission of LCS. It is truly a joy for me to be give back, giving back to others. I thank everyone at LCS for this opportunity. They, so they should support it because it's uh, it's doing uh, good for the for the people, the public. So it takes the mind off of other things and it, it helps out. It's a great help. Yeah. And I wish that they would um, have more people and more people would turn and, and, and just keep it up. How I met all these people and and they were taking them everywhere they wanted to go and you were making people feel good you were making yourself feel good and they needed you and you needed them so at this time i needed them i just want to say i think mercy housing and Lutheran services for this program but I also thank the people that is running this program. Their knowledge and their dedication has been a lifesaver for me and my kind during COVID. It has been a joy and a privilege to be a part of LCS Northwest. I just could not thank them enough for introducing me to a family of friends. Um, with this program at LCSNW. 
You know, people think when you get to a certain age that you're supposed to sit down, be quiet, and not be noticed. And we, I'm of a different opinion, and I think Lutheran Community Services is too. We want our seniors to uh, be well, be healthy, be happy, get their exercise, eat right, and participate and remain active. And that's what I do, and that's what Lutheran Community Services does. Hi everyone, it's Elliot Stockstad, Chief Development Officer here at LCSNW. In 2021, we are celebrating our centennial year, 100 years of service to communities across the Pacific Northwest. It's exciting to stop and think about the past 100 years of health, justice, and hope. Our founders, having identified a need for strength and service in their communities, came together to meet that need out of a can-do attitude and a heart for the most vulnerable. It's with that spirit that we draw on the past and look forward to our next 100 years. We wouldn't be here without you and the thousands of donors, volunteers, and former staff or board members who have sojourned together through the years with faith and goodwill. It's an important moment, and we're grateful that you're sharing it with us. So let's get creative and share our stories. Let's invite our broader community to celebrate with us and renew our partnerships. Thank you so much for all that you do each and every day. Hi everyone, Elliot. I'm here in our new Tacoma office and we are thrilled to be here. We couldn't have gotten here without you. So thank you for those of you that joined us in this journey. And thank you for joining us today. As we've said, cheers to 100 years of health, justice and hope. And now we have the opportunity to come together to consider making a gift to help us lay the foundation for the next century. We've come so far and yet there's so much critical work still to be done in our community. So there are many ways that you can make a gift. You can click the donate button, you can send a check, some of you already have. And for those of you that are monthly givers, maybe consider joining the founding group of our Centennial Circle, which is $100 a month for the next year to honor our Centennial. Uh, we have members of our President Circle, which is our major donor group. And just know any gift, any size is so appreciated and helps us do our work each and every day. So thank you for joining us, for being an amazing supporter and for caring so much about our community. Take care. Okay, one, two, three. Michael, row the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Michael, row the boat ashore, hallelujah. Again, Michael, row the boat ashore, hallelujah. Michael, row the boat ashore, hallelujah. Michael, row the boat ashore, Hallelujah, Michael Rowe.